Okay. Remember how I said the cell membrane is fluid, whereas for plants, it's rigid, the cell wall. However, in animals, it's fluid. That's because it's called the fluid mosaic model. Okay, so let's go through what a fluid mosaic model is. It's basically a model of the cell membrane of a cell. So imagine, I'll go back for one second. Imagine this is a eukaryotic cell. Okay, your body has trillions and trillions and trillions of these cells. This here, this bit here, is a cell membrane. Okay, what we're looking at is the cell membrane here. So imagine we have cut the cell in half and we're looking from the inside of the cell along the cell wall. Okay, that's what we're seeing here. So we've zoomed into the cell wall. What is all this stuff? Well, it consists of a bilayer. Why is it called a bilayer? Bi means two layer. It's a layer. Um, and they have their phospholipids, okay? Remember, a lipid is a fat, and we have a bilayer of phospholipids, okay? Which is why we call it a phospholipid bilayer, okay? Because we have uh, one layer of phospholipids here, another layer of phospholipids here. Um, we also have in between this layer a bunch of other um, molecules, okay? Mostly proteins. We'll get into in a second what these proteins do. But let's just stay with this phospholipid bilayer for now. Um, the phospholipid molecules have a hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tails, okay? So the phosphate head and then they have fatty acid tails, okay? Hydrophilic head, hydrophobic tail. Why? Why is this head hydrophilic and why is the tail hydrophobic? What do they even mean? Well, hydro refers to water. If something's philic, it means loves or is attracted to. Hydrophobic means that it doesn't want anything to do with, okay? So this part of the head loves water. This part of the um, rest of the tail, the, the rest of the molecule, hates water. Why? Why would these two tails hate water and why would the um, head love water? Because this part of the membrane is being exposed to water outside the cell, okay? Your cell is submerged in fluid. So the outside is in constant contact with water. So it wouldn't make sense that it would be um, opposed to water. The inside, however, we don't want water just kind of congregating in the inside of the cell. So, sorry, inside of the membrane. So it's hydrophilic. It keeps water outside of the membrane. Um, yeah, so that's why it's hydrophobic and hydrophilic, right? The head's hydrophilic, tail's hydrophobic. Um, why do we have the two tails attracted to each other? Well, because there's water on the outside of both of these. So water here and water here. So it's getting, um, it's repelling the water. So it's pushing the other way. And so is this one pushing the other way. So then both the tails face each other. Okay, that's a phospholipid bilayer. As I said, submerged throughout the bilayer, as we see here, very different proteins. What are these proteins um, responsible for? Well, they facilitate the movement of other molecules in and out of the cell. So if I have a sodium molecule, let's imagine an uh, imaginary sodium molecule there. It wants to come in the cell. It will go through the protein, okay, um, or the carrier protein. If we have a little bit of calcium, it will have to come through a protein, okay? That's what our proteins are there to do. Um, yeah. They therefore facilitate the movement of certain molecules across the membrane. Other components of the membrane include cholesterol, glycolipids, glycoproteins, and the cytoskeleton. Okay, but the proteins are responsible for um, moving various molecules across the membrane. The reason why we call it a fluid mosaic model, um, the mosaic element comes from how it's described because of its appearance. It looks like a mosaic. The fluid part is referring to the fact that it's not rigid like a cell wall of a plant. Remember, the cell wall of a plant, cell wall of a plant was really rigid. In um, the fluid mosaic model, the bilayer is fluid, meaning that it moves, okay, it sways. 
It's not rigid, it sways, okay? Um, when it needs to become more stiff, it will, but it can also become more fluid and sway. So that's why we call it the fluid mosaic model. Okay, moving...